Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Hare from Bell of Lost Souls Tabletop News with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan brought the new uh, Death Guard yeah. vehicles, I guess you could say. Yeah. Is a drone really a vehicle, or is it sentient being... You know... It, that just looks like a vehicle. Why not both? All right. uh, we've got the, <laughs> the Plague Crawler, Plague Burst Crawler. Yes. It's super cool. And the new Photid Blight Drone Kit. Right. No, this is just its own packaging, because it was in yeah. the starter set, right? It was so. It was originally in the starter set. Uh, it had its own, but it was like a one configuration. Oh, okay. This, this lets one you has some customize. Oh, so. Very cool. And of course, the, the Plague Burst Kit. Yes. Uh, this is the new uh, tank that we've seen pictures of. The mortar tank. The thing. mortar tank. Yeah. I'm super excited to yeah. see what this kit actually has in store for looks us. Looks pretty sweet. Yeah, those look pretty cool. So, uh, that said, let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, Evan, we have the Plague Burst Crawler. All right. And the Photid Blight Drone. Which one do you want to open first, man? Uh, I want to say the drone for last, because the just the options. Is yeah. Okay, good yeah, point. Yeah. Good point. This one's also a completely new kit. We haven't seen yes. any of these yet, so um, I'm excited. Yeah. Back of the box, obviously. A lot of cool stuff. It's got the crazy mortar. It also has a variety of, of hull-mounted weaponry and it's the like two different sponsors. Beast, man. It's, yeah. It's big. It's cool. You want to do the honors? Oh, please. Thank you. Sweet. You open it. That way, if you rip it, yeah, you've got to start Death Guard. <laughs> that's what that means, right? Oh, I don't need another army. <laughs> All right. I'll let you drive. There you go. All right. Nothing else in the box. Nothing else in the box. All right. Uh, okay, so we've got, looks like, two two big sprues. I'm going to okay. pull these out for now. We'll come back to these. We've got the instructions, which, obviously, there's everything in there. There's no base. No. Um, there's the Plague Burst Crawler's info real fast. All color, which is always yep. nice. Full color. We'll just flip through this from pretty fast because it's again full color. So when you're assembling, you know where everything's gonna go. Not a big Red deal. Red blue there. as well, and yep. the options. All the different rules and different languages. So, cool stuff. Yep. Put that one to the side. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the big stuff everybody's been waiting on. I'm gonna zoom in here. Nice big look at this. Cool. So, first sprue. That's insane. The detail. <laughs> I was not expecting that the, the size would have that much stuff going on. I mean, look at that. Yeah. All the crazy different stuff going on in here. Obviously, the tracks are going to be there. Uh, we've got, speaking of tracks, all that fun stuff, the track guards and things like that. It's also a track lot of, guards are over here. A lot of detail right here, even if you're not going to really be able to see it because it's going to be yeah. on the guns. That's insane. But yeah. that is crazy, the amount of stuff that they've used yeah. to cram on these. And that's just, that's not even talking about all the other things going on here, too. We've got... Again, the different uh, track rotors and stuff like that right. going and on here. Yeah, the tracks here. themselves. Yeah, the tracks themselves. There's obviously the big hole. This over. thing's going to be pla uh, hollow on the inside, it looks like. Yes. Which is, wow, yeah. There you go. That is super cool. There's a lot of stuff going on. Here's the weapons, uh, the Sponson weapons. Okay. So there's, looks like two of those, and you can have a different barrel, depending on which weapon configuration you want to okay. go with. Some uh, good options there. Yeah, a lot of options. There's That's the spikes that go on the front, too. Yeah. yeah. You That's know, crazy. That one. Yeah, all right, here's the next one. And again, the amount of G cell on this is just ridiculous. They've been adding a lot of like chain mail, I guess mm -hmm. you can call it, to the Death Guard, and it looks great. Yeah, you can see all the little divots and holes in the chains, mm -hmm. and then also the pox marks just yeah, that's all over awesome. the, the dozer blade. It's just really cool. Just the amount of battle damage this thing. It looks like it's been around for a couple <laughs> millennia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and fighting the good fight for old Papa Nurgle, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's a good fight. But, uh, <laughs> then we've got the good track fight, yeah. guards here, which are super detailed. I didn't realize that they would have like a texture on them as well. So yeah, it's kind of like a, a stretched out, like a skin stretched out texture. You yeah, see that, like right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, it's crazy. Flip over yeah. For you guys. There's the back of the sprue again. More insane detail. Even the back of the dozer blade's got a lot of stuff going on in here too. Yeah. Bullet dents and stuff like that. Divots. So. Man, this is gonna be like a hobbyist dream. <laughs> yeah, it's a great looking model. <laughs> yeah, super cool stuff. So yeah, that one's coming out. That one's out now. Out now, yeah. Yeah, and the next up is the drone. I'll let you open this one. Oh, you want me. <laughs> Here's the back of the drone box. Again, this is the same uh, unit from right. the starter set, but now we've got some extra options. I'm really excited about this flesh mower option, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, um, we were doing some number crunching. Yeah, yeah different vents. Pretty. We were doing some number crunching, and I, I think the flesh mower is going to be pretty, pretty awesome. As I almost ripped this box. Here. <laughs> he just wants me to buy it afterwards. <laughs> I know what he's doing. He sales to the store. Yep. All right. Oh, there's the base. That's everything in the box. All right. Uh, we've got the uh, obviously the base. We'll move that to the side. 
Uh, it's got two sprues. We'll come back to these. And then, of course, the instruction is full color again. And so there's three options for this, yeah. right? It's got the uh, heavy blight launcher. Which is which, what we saw in the star set. Uh, the star set had the plague oh, spitters. Okay, the okay. double plague spitters, which are like flamers, but like acid and right. co it coughs on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally with the, the flesh mower, which yeah. is pretty cool. And it has, it numbers which which steps you use. And Let's also I want to point out too, it's got, it looks like three different chassis options for uh, for ornamentation. Oh, that's very nice, yeah. So you've got like these horns here, you've got the- uh, The vents. The vents, and, and then you've got spikes. spikes. Yeah, there so. you go. And then also the front, um, top piece has different options as well, like different faces for it. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of cool. So you can definitely you, you can, can mix and match a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So and the the core uh, chassis is going to be the same for pretty much all the options, and then you're going to go through and just change stuff up. And again, it's full color, so you know what piece goes where and all that fun stuff. Uh, it does have rules in different languages for you as well. So yeah, um, yeah, cool, great. Let's look at those sprues. First sprue, and I'll zoom in here as well, so we can see this a little bit better. Look at that. <laughs> There's half the body here. You can see two face options right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I man, you're gonna have so many leftover bits too. You're gonna be able to decorate your uh, other stuff. Yeah. If you really want to. I feel like probably not, but you you, you get three of these, and you have so many sprues, you can try yeah. and almost make another one. Almost. Almost. Yeah. You, you don't have the body, but the body, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you, you can customize the, the different options with the vents or the spikes or what oh, have yeah. you. And then also the different faceplates. So you can have, what is that, nine different options if you mix and match. Sure. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then obviously the, the big vent things here, or the um, engines. Yeah. And then these are the uh, plague spewers, I believe. Okay. There's the blight launcher. Right. Kind of grenade launcher gun. Ones. And I'm guessing the flesh mower is on the other uh, screw. Let's put this let's one over. Let's put this one over, yeah. Again, the amount of detail in these is just Insane. ridiculous. Like just the skulls on the side of the gun right there. Yeah. It's also really cool that the uh, the plastic they use holds that detail so well. Yeah. Because you can see there's certain parts that are thicker and certain parts that are obviously thinner. Yeah. But all They've of definitely the refined that, their technique. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They're and then again, when you assemble these, it's just going to hide all those seams really, really well, which is amazing. So. Yeah, there's the uh, one side of the screw here. There's the flesh mower, which looks oh, insane. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, these like are like the sharp. two sides. Yeah. Yeah, then you're gonna glue the insides to there and then glue the flesh. Wow, yeah. It's like one of those old uh, manual mowers. Yeah. Or yeah, or the crop crop, crop guess, yeah. cutters or whatever they have on the farms that they yeah. attach to the uh, lawn or the, yeah. The farm equipment, yeah. Yes, yeah, tractor, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, the revening. We know farming. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly. <laughs> I know cattle, but not farming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, but all these different hoses have little ridges and stuff on them too, mm -hmm. which is really yeah. impressive. So let me flip it over real quick too. You can see the other side of that one. It's just, again, crazy amount of sprue. You really could almost build uh, multiple of these kits if you had more bodies. So, oh yeah, for sure. Um, just you, because of the extra bits you get, so. That's crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, well that's. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all the new, uh, the new Death Guard releases. Again, we've got the uh, Plague Burst Crawler and the blight drone, the new the the new actual kit. Yeah. Um, each one of these makes one mo one miniature. Right. But you have, so, but you have a lot of different options. Nine options. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it's nine options if my uh, my math my calculations is are my, right. If my calculations <laughs> are correct. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Let's hop out for a really fast recap. Well, those are the two new Death Guard releases this week. Yeah. What you think, man? Very cool. Yeah. yeah. I always like vehicles that have like more and don't need a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just park it in the back and fire. Oh yeah, hopefully, that's what this this guy. Hopefully is, that works yeah. out. Yeah, but it's also very cheap point wise, isn't it? Like Absolutely, 100, yeah. 150 points. That's not bad at all. Yeah, so it's it's you've got some some uh, firepower options and some different ways you can configure that. And speaking of different configurations, this photo black drone. Yeah. Um, I'm loving that uh, the 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 flesh mower. The options huh? you get. Yeah, more, yeah. That, those two options. You, well, the two additional options you get. But the these equipped with the flesh mowers we saw. Uh, first off, it looks cool. Yeah, it and does. It's actually really mean in combat. I don't know if you've gotten to fight against. No, them. I haven't. Man, just the regular ones that came in the starter set were were pretty pretty mean. Yeah. Um, but if they had a close combat option, which they do now, uh, they're 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 just gonna come at. They're you. gonna fly at you. And yeah. Just, brrr, yeah. Mow so you down. Literally. <laughs> so <laughs> let's crunch the numbers on these real fast. 
Uh, obviously for Warhammer 40k, Games Workshop. Games Workshop. Yeah. What's the price point on these kids? Sixty dollars and fifty dollars. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah. But I'm I'm expecting to see a couple of these on the table. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, the drones. The drones. Sure. Yeah. I think if I had to pick uh, between, like. Which one was going to be the most useful of the two? Oh, it's going to be the drones. The drones, but I think you just the cool factor, the <laughs> like the plague burst crawler, looks pretty, pretty sweet. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. If I was a Death Guard player, I'd probably pick up both. Let me just say. <laughs> so uh, that's it for this week. I'm Adam here from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Dark Comics Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Dark Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>